Well, good day. And me and I have been off up to the city shopping. We've been into Macro and I bought a couple of pork legs, as the Thai's called Kamu. And I'm going to make Osso Bucco for our dinner tonight. Osso Bucco is Italian comfort food and it literally means bone whole. <laughs> so I've cut a shank into three pieces, about 75 mil each, three inches each in thickness. And I've got a large carrot, three large onions, and a stick of celery, and four cloves of garlic in there to create our sauce. I've got here some seasoned flour. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dust these with flour, and then we're gonna brown them off in this Le Creuset cast iron pan. And we're going to put a glug of olive oil in that and that's what we're going to brown it. And that's the first stage. Simple, easy peasy, also buckle. It's traditionally done with beef or veal, but the reason I'm doing with pork is clearly we're in Northern Thailand here. May is Buddhist and she doesn't eat cows. So we do also buckle with pork. So first things first, we're going to give our meat a right good seasoning with black pepper and salt on both sides. Turn them over. into our Le Creuset, some olive oil. I'm gonna crack that on the stove and get it hot. Our olive oil is nice and hot. And we're gonna drop in our breaded pork to brown it up. And that's probably going to be in three or four minutes each side. My word, look at that. Browned one side and turned them over. And then brown the other side. And then we're going to set them aside and add the veg. All right, we're going to take those out and just set them aside. And in here goes our veg. Right, we're just going to let that veg soften up and cook off for a few minutes. We just want this veg to soften up and, and cook for the onions to go opaque and, uh, and everything else to seal off. It, it'll be great. Right now, once that veggie has softened up and, uh, and fallen a little bit, a few minutes, then we're going to add in a, a large can of tomatoes, or you can use chopped tomatoes, or you can use tomato puree if you want. This is a demijohn full of homemade elderflower wine that I made about 18 months, two years ago. And, uh, and it, it's great, I use it for, for cooking. So there's going to be a cup of wine going in there, some more salt, some more pepper, and as it's Italian, some oregano, or that's what they say, but we say oregano. So that's gonna go in, and when that's in, we're gonna bring it to the boil, put our shanks back in, and we're gonna turn it down to a very low simmer for a few hours, with about a litre of chicken stock, or pork stock, or beef stock, whatever you prefer. Well, that veg is nicely simmering away now. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna add our cup of white wine. Add in our tomatoes and a bit of oregano, oregano. Turn up the heat. Give that a bit of a stir. What we wanna do with this, is we're going to add 
I'm going to add some pork stock in actually. Um, but we're going to bring this with the stock back to the boil, turn it down to a very low simmer, put the lid on and then leave it and it's probably going to be two to two and a half hours. And that will be, you, you won't need a knife to eat it, that's for sure. It will be boiling off the bone. I think I'll need a litre of stock. I am just going to top that up now with stock and uh, let it simmer on the very lowest light. So now it just remains to turn it down to minimum, pop on the lid and check it periodically. Also bucko is that easy. Now I'm going to have mine served on a bed of mashed potatoes a mate is probably going to have her served on a bed of rice or pasta or whatever you want well look at this I've just taken the lid off and this vegetable the vegetables have made the absolute most gorgeous gravy to go with this osso buco and I'm going to taste it now man that's knockout and I got a fork, I got a fork and I, I, I took a little piece of the, I got a little piece of the meat. Now look at that, just, just fell off the bone. Mmm, oh my word. Oh my goodness gracious me! Knocker, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the lid on now, and I'm gonna turn the heat off altogether, and I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes now for me. As I said, May's having hers with rice. Can't wait. Well, that is osso buckle on a bed of mashed potatoes. And I'm going to give it a try right now. First of all, the mash and the fantastic gravy. Mm. Unreal. Now, that fabulous pork meat. Mm. Well, Italian comfort food. At its best. Try it. It's easy. Bye bye.